Welcome, this is Spice Range Wings, just doing my end of day one progression, playing in solo cell found again for the new Blight League. Had some pretty good luck and some pretty bad luck, but it's been pretty good start so far. So I am playing with the Caustic Arrow build, um, messing around with some of the new gems, looks a lot of fun. Right now I'm using Caustic Arrow with Vicious Prod, Swift Affliction, and Void Manipulation, and then I've got a plus one Bow gems thing. I found this super early. I think it was like Act 3 or something. Um, 35 zones. Yeah, Act 3. Um, so that was pretty nice. Been using that so far. Also, crafted this new helmet. Just got 197 energy shield. It's the best piece of gear so far. The rest of it is all pretty bad. Um, that, using it just for the 30 resist. That, just using it because it's got. Um, 56 resist on it, that just using because it's got 24 resist on it and a little bit of energy shield, that using because it's got 56 resist on it, that using because it's got 24 resist on it, those I'm using them because they dropped, they got 25 move speed and some spell dodge while phasing, I'll be phasing most of the time because I've got both a quartz flask that gives phasing and then I'm using withering step which gives me phasing. And then I'm using that just because it's got 22 resistance. Mostly just having to keep track of all my resistance everywhere. I even had to craft some on my bow. But finally got it all covered because I just killed Kitava. So my resistances are just over the line. Um, but then also I'm using Bane with the spare efficacy and control destruction. This is actually helping me do lots of my boss damage as long with Withering Step. Withering Step applies Wither, which was not something that I had in the build before, and uh, it does a pretty good time. It does six stacks of Wither. Um, also gives a nice movement speed. I do have that with Increased Area Effect to increase the circle. And then Plague Bear isn't doing anything right now because I'm not doing anything with Poison. Got Flame Dash. Doesn't have to be linked with them. It's just this was the easiest way to put that. Got Grace and Discipline, reserving most of my mana. And then just got a faster casting void manipulation because we don't have anywhere else. I was leveling that with that and then leveling this for I don't know what reason. I think I was just using it earlier, just stuck it on these. Um, and then I've got six caustic arrows that I'm leveling, hoping to get a corruption to get a 21 because that's pretty big for caustic arrow, just that extra level. Scales like a spell very much. Um, and then got instant bleed removal, we got freeze and chill removal there. That's just level 3 one, haven't even rolled anything on it. Got bleed removal there, and then got one of the new cast bead while, during flash effect. Um, probably switch that out pretty soon for a different kind of flash, but I haven't done that yet. And then since I haven't got gear, I haven't gone CI yet, but I could pretty much do it once I get some better gear. Most of this stuff is still um, evasion based, but... The best luck I've got is I got the six link to drop. Sadly, I can't use it because it's an armor base, but that, and I also got an exalt, so I was pretty happy about that. And the leak's pretty fun. Been having a lot of fun with that. So, just thought I'd show off the first map I run because I just killed the top and haven't done my maps yet. So, show you guys kind of how the build works. Um, pretty much Caustic Arrow and Bane. Do most of the damage and then you use withering step after you do a caustic arrow to apply the wither on people also gives quite the bonus to move speed that's pretty nice uh which is my favorite map to run um i don't think i had very many jungle valleys so we'll start with the jungle valley But yeah, I've been pretty happy. The new league mechanic is pretty fun. I uh, couldn't really do it early just because you don't have the damage for it early in this setup. But now that I'm doing enough damage and I've learned what the base towers are and kind of how they work together, it's been Still pretty safe, nice. So, pretty much Caustic Arrow kills all the packs. You can do Bane for rares if you feel you need to. And then withering step. Ooh, look at that. 
One of my favorite parts about Withering Step that you can kind of see is when you activate it, all the people go green when they first are in your area. So in dark maps, where it's kind of hard to see them because the monsters don't stand out to the terrain very well, By the time we're through, then no it does it pretty well. Ooh, look at that. that. Even got a betrayal. We got three of them, would you look but at that? The upper hand. The thing to remember about the Withering Torah. Step is you lose all of its bonus once you attack or cast something, so you always want to do it after your Caustic Arrow, just, just because you honor the way. that don't way do it. you don't cancel yourself out of it. To warriors who fought well. I must confess, then it is subterfuge. Okay. This will do this next. Oh my goodness, and I just cancelled right out of it. On my withering step. I'm amazing at this. For some reason, I have my hands almost up thinking that Bane and withering step are in the wrong places. But they've been this way the entire time I've leveled, so I don't know why it is like that now, but... Ooh, got some soft splinters. Pretty nice, and this is the betrayal map, which is nice as well. Grab that armor strap. Yeah, I was pretty excited when I got that six link only to figure out that it was an armor base. So my next build this league is probably going to be armor. Be strength base, which I wasn't planning on because uh, I like evasion and energy shield as my favorite things about builds. Unless I go righteous fire and righteous fire you don't need a six link armor base because you go I'm sorry. So... I might be playing something that I nor don't normally play this league for my bossing build, which is probably what I'm going to make if I'm going to make a strength based one, so or at least red socket. Don't know how well minions would work. <laughs> I, I might be able to do maybe a barren zombie is what I'm thinking, because that's strength stacking, and I've done that before. Let us see. Um, that was oof, a long time ago. I don't even think it was when I was in a temporary league. I think it was one of the ones that I decided to play for standard to see if it was ready. I think it was pre Harby League. And I decided to. Uh, it wasn't for me for the time being. So. Mostly just because I was trying to do all the minion stuff and I didn't know how minions worked at the time because I was at the very beginning of starting out. Okay, let's do map bot first, then we'll do Jund, and then we can do the League Mechanic. Let's see how it does on map bosses. Um, we were going for these ones next. The nice part about Bane is Bane's duration is a lot longer than anything else, so I normally do, you don't have to apply it too much to get the damage from it, so I can normally, on bosses, my rotation is Caustic Arrow, Bane, Caustic Arrow, Withering Step, um, just because if you Withering Step after your Bane before another Caustic Arrow, then Caustic Arrow's timer runs out, the duration isn't incredibly long. For Caustic Arrow when you don't have much of any of the duration scaling stuff yet. 
Because you get duration scaling from Uberlab, which I haven't done yet since I just got into maps. And then you got duration scaling from some of your other things later on as well. I think I only have a little bit on the skill tree and that's about all that I've gotten so far. You win. Let's parlay. This work? I'm going to kill you, Giannis. Just blessings. Uh, let's see, we had that to unveil. Ooh, poison. I might do poison later on, not with a sword. Um Blood Rage is a craft. I like Blood Rage as a craft. And then we'll identify that. I'm looking at it to figure out that it's got gold desist on a ring, which I don't need. But hey, that's better than nothing. Alright, League Mechanic wise. The League Mechanic's pretty simple. You put it on it here, it gives you some time. You'll see that there's four paths that they're going to take. So normally what I do is I put minions, because minions get in the way there. Then I'll put a damage tower there. And then, since it's lightning, I'll probably put some seismic towers. Seismic tower is stun. And that's what I use them for, is they're stun. You can also do flame towers. Flame towers have the highest range and highest damage. Um, so those are pretty nice early, and then you can also do it's the... Exile. Oh my goodness, it's going off in all the directions, and I poured everything into stuff over there. Um, we'll just have to leave this up to the towers to deal with. But you can do the cold one for slows, that works out pretty well. And then, I don't remember, oh, the lightning one. I haven't used the lightning one at all because I just haven't found the need because lightning applies shock, which increases damage taken. Um, and I've mostly just been doing other things, even though I have no way of applying shock since I'm not doing hits. I just don't feel the need to be using the shocks. I don't do too much damage right now to large groups of magic monsters without having to spam cast my abilities. But And then early on I was using a mana flask, but you don't need it too much. You just need to not spam so much. But the art's pretty cool. I've been liking them. So if you have mana problems, you can do that. But yeah. This is the end of this video, and I will see you guys in the next video Stay in when I am working on filling out my atlas some more because now I'll be working on that and hopefully have better gear. BCI my, is my hope. So. Hello. See you in the next video.